everyone this is Colleen I have not made a video in a while and I do apologize for that um, I wanted to share this project with you I made this to hold the photographs of the canvases I've been making and how I made this uh, was I used my bind it all and um, you know uh, it's how I got the spiral binding obviously and the papers that I use for this little mini kit or mini album I should say is the seven gypsies uh, gypsy market paper this is a paper collection they had out a while ago but anyway and I also use the seven gypsies divider cards these goes on these go on the carousel and basically I use these as my dividers you'll see inside and also I used it just flipped around on me some charms on there and the charms that I use for this book are the Tim Holtz little artful charm which I thought was appropriate since the title is art rules and this is a industrial chic paintbrush since this is going to have my um, canvases I make and then the little Tim Holtz light bulb and all I did was put these um, on these little uh, safety pins and hung them off of the loop from the industrial chic and I attached it to this little string and basically this attaches to the little card and the transparency on the cover is also a seven gypsies a carousel uh, it came with the you know multitude of things I bought for it and this was part of it and I believe this is the same line as the gypsy market ones like I said I've had these for quite a while and I decided to use these in a different way and on the inside I used corrugated cardboard and I painted it with some vintage photo crackle paint and also some broken china uh, crackle paint by Tim Holtz and for the A I used the Tim Holtz um, clock things and I don't remember the names I have all these in a box and I don't have the um, you know the appropriate names anymore I just have them stored in one big box of Tim Holtz stuff uh, the uh, letters art rules here they're in copper I had these a long time and I'm not sure who manufactured them as well as the coordinating corner pieces but anyway um, I thought that turned out really cute and it shows through and on the inside I used uh, I just painted it with some acrylic paint and the I thought it would be fun to put some words of encouragement which is uh, be positive be yourself and be amazing and I used some bottle cat or or pop tops from the cans I'm a diet dr. pepper fiend so that's what those came off of and the words came from this ephemera pack called daily junk and I got this it's by pink paisley and I purchased this in blue moon and that's what I put here now I don't have any of my photos in here right now but basically um, also what I use like for my pages were little brown bags and these are also by seven gypsies and they also go with the carousel and I forgot to show you and this is what they look like and they're really cute really teeny bags and well I guess you'll have to use them with the carousel but these are by seven gypsies I bought these a very long time ago and that's what I use for my inside pages was was these and I also purchased these at blue moon they might still have these too and I covered them with the uh, seven gypsies gypsy market paper and then I crinkled the edges and inked them and this is a really cute new stamp that I purchased recently this stamp is 
a new stamp I got. This is by Jenny Bowling. And you see it's a little acrylic stamp. It's very cute. Also got this a blue moon. And on the inside, I punched out some uh, coordinating paper at the pack. And this is where I can put more journaling or photos. And this is where um, on the ends, I use this punch. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> By EK Success. And that's what I used here on the ends of these. Tell it's been a while since I've made a video. Okay, so there's this page. It's just inked and distressed, which I love that look. And then here's one of the Seven Gypsies divider pages. And I have some Jolie's little doodads that I added on with the painting. And this was fun. This is a new stamp that I found in the Michael's Clearance Bin. Uh, time flies by when you're having fun. I love the little chicken. It's so cute. And I just you inked it with the new uh, Tim Holtz Distress Stains. And rubbed it all over. And then stamped it with some uh, Ranger Archival ink. And this is what I use. They're little mini canvases by um, Ranger and they're sticky back and they're so cute and that's what I used here and I purchased those at Michael's and also I ran my Seven Gypsies little divider things through my Tim Holtz um, texture fades and uh, each one has like that's the brick one and then I ran some uh, Tim Holtz barn red distress ink over top of it so it would show up you can see it behind there and here's another one I did a couple stamps that have uh, art imagination and some more Jolie's accessories I've had these a while but since it is about canvases I was glad I had all these little art doodads on my stash here's another pocket page Again, distressed, inked, stamped, and yeah, my punched card here. And on this side is another page. On this page, um, I decided to take a regular tag that you get over at Staples, and I cut it off. And then I punched it with my punch, as you can see. And then I used the... Um, broken China ink and did that and then this was part of this uh, ephemera pack from Pink Paisley and I thought this is totally cute don't forget the scrap chick ah, so uh, then here is some little more Jolie's paint things I just had some little oriental stamps that I stamped on the books I thought that's really cute and I love of course the words Okay, and there's another. That's the back side of the bag. On this side, another divider. This is another one of my stamps. I did the stamped on the Ranger uh, sticky back canvas squares, distress ink, archival ink for her, uh, more Jolie's. I ran this through the, the, the Tim Holtz texture fades. Ran the barn red over top of it. So it would show up and you can see it there and then I stamped the words create uh, did the same process a couple more paint doodads from Jolie's and another page it's distressed ink and there's another page and on the back side I used again the ephemera pack it says be true be grateful and be kind and I used the pop tops and on this side which is my back cover again another seven gypsy transparency and I use the corrugated chipboard some more of the Tim Holtz vintage photo cracker paint and the broken John crackle paint and then I adhered these keys these are by Life's Journey K and Company and they're really neat because they're they're flat and they're already, they're already sticky. So you just pull them off and stick them on your project. So 
Um, I really like the way those look. So anyway, on the back I just doodled it. I love art. So anyway, this is my new book I made. And I hope you like it. And um, if you have any questions or comments, just let me know. And thank you again for uh, watching my video. And I will see you guys later. Bye.